Right, today we're going to make a, another soup that we had at the Fisherman's Hall at the weekend. Just the basic tomato soup. I know everyone can make a tomato soup. There are one or two little changes in the scene, in the seasoning that makes it a bit more funky. So we're going to start by sweating off some onions and garlic. So about a tablespoon of extra virgin rapeseed oil. Around about 150 grams of roughly chopped onion. That's two smallish onions. And then this sounds like a lot, but it's nice. There's a whole bowl of garlic in there. Okay, now we're just going to cook that until all that horrible raw smell is gone. It's probably going to take about five minutes. Okay, this is nicely sweated out now. All that horrible smell is gone. So we're going to start putting some flavours in here. Smoked paprika, two teaspoons. Sounds a lot, but it is nice. Italian seasoning, you can use a mixed herb or fresh herb if you've got it. Two teaspoons. One bay leaf. No, you don't have to put it in, but I can't see a soup without it, so I'm going to put one dry bread chilli in. And one teaspoon of fennel seeds. Um, never mind. One and a half teaspoons of fennel seed. I like them. Gives it sort of an Italian feel. There we go. Now we're just going to cook those spices out for about two to three minutes. Okay, that's nice and aromatic now and you can smell all the flavours coming up. So into that, we're going to add about 150 gram, maybe 200 gram, something like that. Parsnip to make it sweet. Carrot, more sweetness. Celery for flavour. Put all those in. I'm going to put one tin of peeled tomatoes. Now, Use the best ones you can afford. Um, these are really reasonable, actually. They're from as the 80 p tin. They've got a lovely flavour to them. Um, obviously, you know, you can go to San Marzano and all these expensive ones, which are really good. But um, they're about all you need. One third of a cup of red lentils. Three cubes of all stock cubes or three teaspoons of stock powder. Just bring the heat up a little bit. And then we're going to add probably about two pints of water. There you go, that's two pints of water. Now maybe later we'll add some more. Maybe we will need to reduce it. We'll see. It all depends how the, the vegetables and that cook out. So that's it for the time being. We're going to bring that to the boil and then turn it down and let it simmer till everything is really um, overcooked and almost mushy. I don't know, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes. Okay, so that's all well and truly cooked out. Now you've got a choice. You can either leave your chilli in if you put one in or you can take it out. If you take it out, you'll have no heat. But a mild chilli flavour. I'm going to leave it in. Take out the bay leaf. Then we're just going to blitz it. The old hand blitzer. Till it's nice and smooth. Now that's half blitz. I'm just going to add some seasoning now. This is just sea salt and pepper mixed. So a little bit to begin with. A bit more blitzing. Taste. And then see where we stand. Okay, that's nicely blitzed, nice and smooth. Um, for me, that's about the right thickness. Some people like a, a drinking soup, some people like a really thick eating soup. It's entirely up to you. You could pass this through a shin, uh, sorry, a, a sieve. Um, I don't see the point because every now and then you may get a little bite of fennel seed that hasn't been blitzed, or you know, it just adds to the texture. I've checked the seasoning. That's about right for me. You may want it a different way. Um, 
if you want to address this with a bit of cream, you could. But to be honest, as it is, it's quite healthy. So there you go. Um, tomato soup. Funky tomato soup. 